So students in today's video I'm going to talk about how to get six band in IELTS reading uh, academic as well as uh, general training module. So friends it's not so difficult to get six band in reading if you have a specialized plan of IELTS practice at home. So I am going to share with you a plan over here and that works and 100% works I guarantee you if you uh, follow my guidelines that I'm going to share with you and I already uh, you know shared these uh, instructions these uh, suggestions with lots of my students and who acted on them and got six seven band in IELTS reading so what that uh, uh, secret is or what that uh, formula is that I'm going to share with you uh, first of all what do you need to do you need to buy some Cambridge books Cambridge academic books suppose I'm, I'm taking example of uh, academic students so you should buy Cambridge uh, 11 12 13 14 15 it's enough these five books are enough for your IELTS practice and uh, each book contains four tests oh total you have 20 tests how many tests are there 20 tests are enough for IELTS practice and the cost of I think each book will be around 250 or 300 rupees even you can uh, uh, get the PDFs of these books and uh, have the photo states or Xerox copies of them so that would be cost effective cheaper for you now what you have to do you have to divide your practice in weeks like for example I take one example over here week 1 week second week third and week fourth okay and what do you need to do on first week you have seven days so let's take example of book number 11 you will start your practice from book number 11 and you will do three passage three passage book number 11 test one passage one test two passage one test three passage one okay and uh, you will do three passage in one day so day one first week three passages of first three tests pehle teen test honge jo test one test two test three unka pehla pehla patches first passage of each three tests you will do on first day on day two you will again uh, they belong to test 1 test 2 and test 3 and in day 2 uh, passage 1 passage 1 and passage 1 of uh, test 4 and uh, then book number 12 test 1 test 2 they are from book number 12 I mean to say that in one week you should only do passage 1 three passages and passage 1 of every test three tests you will take and you will do understand what I am trying to say because there is a lot of passage 1 passage 2 test 1 test 2 let me explain to you in a simple language in Hindi aapne kya karna hai ke pehla test lena uska first passage karna agla test uska bhi first passage tisra test uska bhi first passage ek din mein teen first passage karne aapne teen alag alag tests ke so you will take three different tests and you will do passage one of each test on any single day so you have six days of the week seven days you should take rest I am not suggesting you to do reading on uh, Sunday Sunday you should relax and chill out with your friends so what is going to happen in uh, first week six days you will be able to do 18 tests sorry 18 passages and all passage one and the same thing you will do in uh, week 2 but this time you are not going to do passage 1 you will do passage 2 passage 2 and passage 2 of uh, first 3 tests of uh, Cambridge 11 and then on the next day Cambridge 12 then their uh, first uh, second uh, uh, passages 3 passages of uh, test every test and th th this time the passage 2 would be there so same repetition would be there and in third week you will start your focusing on passage 3 passage 3 of all the first three tests book number 11 12 13 so by that time uh, in a three weeks 
almost 18 uh, passages sorry tests uh, you will be able to do and your level of practice would become very high and during this time what you need to do you need to focus on vocabulary difficult words and the questions which are you are not able to do you should check them again do them again to find out their exact answers is ke liye, for that you can take help of any mentor or you can search on google the location of the answers or where you were not able to find the answer in these days every information is available on google so these passages are also solved over there you can see the right answers and locations over there and after that in the fourth week that is the most important then you start practicing your uh, mock tests now what you need to do on the fourth week you will do full test in one sitting in 60 minutes full test daily time 60 minute have an alarm okay try to finish all the three passages in 55 minutes and if you sincerely do the practice for three weeks that i just told you the way you would become so efficient in your IELTS reading that you would be able to finish all three passages of any given test in 50 to 55 minutes and your level of accuracy would be such that your scores would be around tw between 25 to 32 33 depending upon uh, how sincerely intelligently honestly you have done your practice and after that you can go for your exam and thanks and all the best for your IELTS practice